Hi, my name is Tara Haynes, and I have a little farm in LaGrange, Georgia, called Nevea Sanaya. Good evening. I received a phone call yesterday from a gentleman named Michael Plunkett. He is with the Beekeepers Relief Fund. A email went around from the Georgia Beekeepers Association and asked beekeepers if they had lost any of their hives due to Hurricane Helene or Hurricane Milton. I had responded that I had lost one hive. Hive here, nobody home. That's why I'm not in a suit because there's nobody here, nothing buzzing, so I'm perfectly safe. So these bees have a wonderful place to be around. But I wanted to put a little focus on the Beekeepers Relief Fund. Michael and I had a very nice conversation by phone. He lives in New Jersey and he lost his youthful home that he grew up in in April and apparently lost all of his bees as well. The community rivaled around him and money started coming in to build slowly but surely and so did his beehives apparently his chickens were safe so that was good but he decided through tragedy that he would come up with his own organization they are they are a 501c3 organization you can reach them at beekeepersreliefund.org I'm going to give you an address listed right here above my head where you can mail a check because they are not technologically advanced yet on their free website. After talking with him, trying not to cry, he contacted the Georgia beekeepers and spoke with the president and the president said that they had a list of some beekeepers that lost some bees and I was one of them. It's only one hive, but it's my passion. I love them. I love what they produce. I miss it in my coffee. And because of him being in New Hampshire, he is a part of the New Hampshire Beekeepers Association, just like I'm a member of the Georgia Beekeepers Association. So he has another person in the state of Georgia. I do not know who they are or where they're located at. Obviously, probably in the path of Helene or Milton that lost some hives and they're going to ship them and also me a package set of bees come the spring so my winter task is going to be going through every single one of my hives which i have about 10 sets paint clean get everything set so that when my new fellow bees arrive they have a new home to go to i wanted to also put out some feelers that he is going to be talking to the secretary of the Vermont Beekeepers Association. His name is Fred. Don't know any more names. And I'm supposed to be waiting for him to call me because Michael with his organization only had enough funds to cover the one person in Georgia and not myself, but apparently we were two that were on this list, or I guess the first two, I'm not positive. Michael Plunkett is the president of this beekeepersreliefund.org. And from the looks of their website, they have a bunch of people with big hearts and empty pockets. So I'm asking for you, if you have anything that you can spare, to keep honeybees in backyards, to help farmers, to help beekeepers, to help your neighborhood, 
send them what you can, what you can afford, because this organization has just started and they've got their feet on the ground with no traction. And I would like to assist them with paying it forward, like he was paying it forward when the community backed him up. Did not even think that it would devastate my hives. I lost the other three hives earlier in the year due to health that I could not come out. Health is on the mend and I attended this one with another fellow beekeeper and we did what we could. They were strong. They were here. I've got videotape of them before the hurricane and no videotape of them after the hurricane. I was hoping that, that they were going to prepare and hunker down like the chickens and the donkeys and my husband and I and the dogs and the cats, but apparently they felt threatened, so they left. So their hive sits here and I look at it every day. And when the mosquitoes go away, I'll come back out here because I'm getting attacked now. And my little pig will come back to life and be more vibrant with better paint. Nevaeh Sanaya will live on through other bees. Not these, but other bees. And I'm very grateful. So I'm hoping and praying that Michael is able to contact the Vermont Beekeepers Association and see if they will join in to sponsor me with a package of bees for one hive. In turn, I'm pledging that I will sponsor another state that has lost their hives after any devastation that has been done. If you know of anybody that has lost their bees to Hurricane Helene or Hurricane Milton in 2024, please comment below and at least give me their name or send me a message. And if you read the information underneath what I post, there's an email, there's an address that you can write to. Send me that information because Technically, at this time, I can't afford to buy bees, but I've got a set of bees coming, so that's one, and I'm going to work hard to get them ready and be able to pay it forward to help more than one person get their beehives working as well, and I'm hoping that I should be able to reach out to somebody in the western side of Tennessee, the eastern side of North Carolina, the north side of Georgia, the west side of South Carolina, because we've all been affected, including Florida. So if you know of anybody that would like to join with me and donate money to the Beekeepers Relief Fund and help these people help other beekeepers, that would be wonderful. It'd be a big blessing. I appreciate it, and you guys have a wonderful October. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe, because this is daily life for me. Thank you.